In this video, we'll talk about how explicitly to find the equation of a line from data or from a graph and how to plot a line from a line. Okay, so let's start with an example. Let's say you're back in chemistry and your job is to find the density of some solution. Right? So you make some solution and you put it in a picture and maybe you're measuring it with the volume. Right, and you're also weighing the whole thing to compute the mass. Okay, and let's say that you've messed up and you forgot that you're supposed to tear the scale before you weigh it. So you forgot to weigh the figure by itself, and so instead of doing that, you decided, okay, I'll just put it into you know as I change the volume. I'll, I'll get a different mass, right? So you, you, you make the solution and you're pouring into this beaker, but you forgot to weigh it itself. So you're just gonna keep adding more liquid to the beaker, to measure the volume and mass at different levels, okay? Let's so say you, you start off and it's at 20 centimeters cubed, the volume, and you weigh that whole thing, the container and the liquid, gives you 70 grams. And then let's say you weigh it a couple more times, so you weigh it and measure it. 30 centimeters cubed and it weighs 90 grams and then you uh, add a little more so now it's 40 centimeters cubed volume and it turns to 10 grams and then let's say you weigh it a uh, fourth time and you, you measure it out and you have 50 centimeters cubed as your volume and that mixture plus the container weighs 130 grams okay so then to find a linear equation for this, we have to add this to. And we want to plot this, and then we can uh, get the equation of the line from there. Okay, so let's add our points on the graph. Let's say at 20 centimeters cubed for a volume on the x axis, it'll be 70 grams. And then at 30 centimeters cubed, it's 90 grams. 40, it'll be 110. 50, it'll be 130. Okay, and then we just connect these. With a nice straight line, and there's our line. Okay, so how do we get the equation of this line? Okay, so to find the equation line, we first have to compute slope, right? And to compute the slope, we're going to pick two points on our line, right? Or two of our data points, okay? Let's pick, you know, x1, y1, and an x2, y2. Okay, so for this example, I'm gonna pick, let's use red, I'm gonna pick maybe these two right in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna pick these. Okay, so I'm gonna pick 30, 90, and 40, 100. Okay, and then if you recall, the slope m is change in input over change, change in output over change in input, right? It's this distance delta y over delta x. Our delta y is our y2 minus y1. Our delta x is our x2 minus x1. Okay, so that would be 110 minus 90 grams divided by 40 times 30 centimeters cubed. Okay, so up top we have 20 grams, on the bottom we have 10 centimeters. All right, so that gives us 2 grams per centimeter as our slope. Okay, and you notice the units of this suggest that that's a density. Okay, so then to get the equation of the line, we can either start with point slope form, right? Point slope since we have lots of points and we don't know what the intercept is, right? So that one we are just going to pick a single point now that we have the slope. So let's pick x1, y1. Okay, so for our example, again, we're going to use, just use our first one, so let's 30, 90, right? And then point slope form, remember, is y equals n. X minus your point, 
plus the y point. Okay. So for our example, we have our slope. Okay, so our example, y is equal to 2, x minus 30, plus 90. Okay, and so then that would be the equation of our line in point slope form. But then let's say you wanted to know the intercept, right? We don't know what the mass of that container was, so maybe we want to figure out what the mass of the container is. So we want to put this into slope intercept form. Right, so to get to slope intercept form, right, y equals mx plus b. We need to, you know, to get there from here, we just multiply out our point slope form equation. Okay, so in this case, we have y equals 2x minus 30, 90. We multiply this out, we get y equals 2x minus 60 plus 90. And then we simplify, we get y equals 2x plus. That's a cat. Um, sorry about that. Okay. So. Negative 60 plus 90 gives you 30. Okay, so then this is our line in slope intercept form. Okay, where this is our slope m and this is our intercept b. Okay, so then if we go back to our original question, right? Question was we're trying to find the density of the solution. And maybe we also, since we did all this work and we forgot to tear it, maybe we also want to know the, the, the weight of that glass. So if we think back that table of formulas, right, we remember that the mass of a liquid, or, or of anything really, <laughs> the mass of anything, Reading a real test, you know. <laughs> he thinks that the cursor is an insect. Okay. Um, the mass of anything is the density times the volume, right? So it's for solids, liquids, what have you. Okay. But we didn't measure the mass of the liquid. We measured total mass of the liquid and the container, right? So there's mass of liquid plus the mass of the container. So, you know, our equation that we solved up here, this y equals mx plus b, that was really this mass is equal to density times volume plus the weight of the container. Okay? And so, you know, in our problem, we had n, you know, or y is equal to 2x or b plus 30, right? So that's saying that our density grams per centimeter and the weight of the container mc is going to be 30. okay okay that answers are, are like scientific problems okay and you recall so that we started with data we plotted all these points and to get the equation of the line we calculate the slope by picking two points on the line, or two points from this data set, calculated, you know, y2 minus y1 over x2 x1 that gave us the slope. And then we put it in point slope form by using one of our points from our line and one of the points from our data set and putting it in this form. And to get it to slope intercept form, we uh, multiplied out point slope form and got this intercept, right? And so when we found this intercept here, right, this 30 means where this line intersects the y-axis, right? So we could go back up here. And now, you know, I plotted these four points, and I didn't label what this was because I couldn't really tell just from plotting it, but now that I did the computation, I said, okay, the y-intercept is actually 30 grams. Okay, so that's where this line intercepts the y-axis. Okay, so let's say we're going the other direction, and we know the equation 
line. And we want to plot it. Okay, so in that case, what are we going to do? Well, we can just use our equation to find points and then connect them. Right? Use our equation to find two points. Right? You can you can compute more, uh, or you can just compute two and then connect them with a ruler to make a nice straight line. And that's all you have to do to plot a line. Okay, so let's do an example. Let's say our function was y equals a half x. Three. One last. Okay, so we need to compute two points. Get points from the equation. Okay, so when it's in slope intercept form, easiest point to get would be x equals zero, right? That gives us y equals a half times zero plus three. That just gives us the y intercept. Okay, and so we can plot that first point first, right? So when x is zero, y is three. Okay. And then when x is equal to, let's say, 2, right, you just pick any any x that you think the algebra will be easy for. And when we plug that in, we get a half times 2, 3. That gives us 1 plus 3, or 4. Okay? And when we plot 2, that's why I had it lined up with the grid. With my grid lines here, okay, that's better. So then two, four, and then I just connect them with a nice straight. Okay, well, I didn't use that. But you know, if you're on paper, you would put a ruler there between the two lines and then you just draw it out. Right? So you find your two points. Plot them on your graph, connect them, and then kind of extend that out. Okay, so if you use rulers, really easy. Okay, and that's all there is to it. 